thought I would try moving it away down lower uh, to see if height doesn't really matter. I could get it further away from the house. The house is definitely a noise source and there's nothing I can do about it uh, short of turning off everything, which is impossible. So um, I moved it down, uh, which I'll show you in a second, which is actually lower, much lower than the house. Um, I was able to pick up some people talking. I still wasn't able to make them out, but I was able to pick up some people talking on 40 meters. It's at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, which I could not even know they were there beforehand. But here's an example of, this is I think FT8, JT65, I didn't pay attention to what channel, I think it's, anyway, it's, it's one of those. This is with my um, transmit antenna. Now I'm going to switch over to the mag loop. Now I'm going to switch back to the transmit and turn it down a little because the transmit's a lot louder. where the hiss is about the same volume level. You'll notice I can barely tell these people are there if I switch to the loop. In fact, that's a primary example. You can barely hear them. And now you can hear them. So this is on 40 meters and the loop definitely helps now that I got it further away from my house. So for example, this is on 40 meters I'm listening to now. And uh, you can listen as I tune this. You can hear the noise. Hear it? Now as I turn away from the noise, now the noise is gone. When I go here, it's right on top of that guy. So right here is where that noise is the least. So what, what this tells me though is you need a rotator for any of these antennas really, any of these loops, if they're going to work for you as a received loop. Every channel is getting noise from a different direction. So you're going to need a rotator. It's, it's just a requirement. I would say even with the, the MFJ, you're probably really going to want a rotator if you want to get the best results out of this thing. But uh, for example, let's listen to this guy. This is on 40 meters. As soon as he starts talking. This is on the loop. Again, now I'll go back to my 40 meter transmit. I can hear a guy talking really quiet in the background. Can't make him out. But you can hear him. This you can't hear him at all. Um, as soon as he starts talking, we'll be able to do something. This this other guy's talking in the background, so he's being long-winded. This is yeah, well, don't run off, will you? Okay, uh, N4 NY W5OU clear. Listening for W5GIT over. So I can hear that guy talk and can't make him out in the background, but... Come on, talk already. Oh, you want me to start talking? Oh, okay, uh, Ron, is that right? Okay, well, uh, anyway, uh... 
you're five and nine here. Uh, and Gordon is my name, and I'm in Norman, Oklahoma. And I, I'm kind of anxious to talk to this uh, W uh, Nancy Ford station because uh, he's got a record of us talking uh, about 47 years ago. So uh, I need. To check so there you out. go. Without the noise, uh, that was on the loop. Once I turn it to the right position to get rid of this noise. So I'm going to do one last test a little later. Um, putting it up as high as my 20 meter um, and and up on my roof and seeing how that does but this is determined at this point this antenna is a keeper even if it gets no better than this because once I put a rotator on it wherever I end up putting it um, it's gonna help uh, it's not gonna help me with 20 meter and stuff because apparently my 20 meter antenna is, is, is as good as I'm gonna get unless I try moving this to a higher location and maybe this will then do better. But where I have this at the levels I've tried it, my 20 meter is just a better antenna for receive. But the 40 meters, this is definitely helping me on my 40 meters. It does work. There's no doubt in my mind this antenna works. The quality of the workmanship is great. The guy has, I, when I emailed him about this, you know, he just reminded me of the importance of, you know, making sure to, to rotate it so that's why I brought the radio out where I can actually rotate it and hear what I'm doing um, the guy is prompt he'll send it to you he even after the sale he responds to the emails almost immediately I have no doubt in the quality of the product this is the W6 LVP magnetic loop antenna um, I definitely think if you're having noise issues he has a money-back guarantee you're still going to be out any cables you got to buy to test this but other than that he will give you your money back if it doesn't solve your problem you don't have to necessarily run out and buy a rotator right away you don't have to get all do like what I'm doing test it but you are going to want to make sure your radio is within reach of the antenna so that you can rotate it uh, or go buy a rotator from Walmart and if you end up not using it as long as you return it within 15 days you can return it uh, because you didn't use it um, so that might be an idea if, if but you're going to want to rotate it. Just remember when you're testing this, you're going to want to rotate it. I did buy the, the coax that I bought was the uh, quad braided, uh, quad shield coax. Quad shield coax like they use for satellites. Um, that's what I ended up buying. Um, definitely, it, it does help uh, null out those noise. Uh, you just got to find the right placement for the antenna and it may not solve all your problems. As with me, it's not solving all my problems. But this is giving me a glimmer of hope. I hardly do anything on 40 meters anymore because I literally can't hear anything. I mean, that gets really old to listen to after a while, and then you can't hear anybody else in the mud at all. So the red light is the loop. That's transmit. Hey, what's the name? Okay, I lost a little bit of you in that time there, so there's some little trash coming in there. I think you said George. Okay, I got that time. All right, have a nice day, and uh, well, there's another Victor 2 or something. Uh, Rob, pick it up. I can't hear him. Uh, Victor Papa 2, go ahead. Hear that guy in the back?
That's the loop. That's my transmit. So I turn off the attenuation uh, setting on the 817 when I go to the loop because it's a lot quieter. Um, but you, for example, this guy right here, you can hear him on the loop. You can kind of hear him on the transmit. Yes, I do, Vernon. Okay, got a nice copy on you. Plus 10. So, definitely down lower, it seemed to work better. Uh, let's try, this is going to be the same results. This is uh, 20 meters, it's probably not going to be as good. This is 20 meters on the loop. So, 20 meters, probably 30 meters, uh, all that stuff, except my tenon is not resonant on 30 meters, so I'm not really counting that. Uh, <coughs> but it seems like where I'm located, everything above that, it doesn't really help. Um, as far as, as, far as it's, it's worse. Um, but you have the switch, you can turn it off. Now let's see how well it does. Let's see how well it does when I just click push to talk. So I'm going to go to, I haven't hooked up the cable. Uh, I'm going to go to somebody on 40 meters. I'm going to call CQ on 7200. Doubt anybody can hear me though. So it's 7200. This is on the loop. Zero, Lima, Charlie, Sierra. Kilo Echo Zero, Lima, Charlie, Sierra. So if I'm talking, it switches. So it's pretty good. Um, as soon as it's getting, the, it's not giving a high SWR. So it's switching in time. Kilo Echo Zero, Lima, Charlie, Sierra. That's the that's my that's my receive antenna. You can't make them out. Now you can. So it's like night and day. You can hear me. Kilo Echo Zero Lima Charlie Sierra. Lima Charlie. Charlie is in Chuck Sierra. 
Correct. Roger, roger. Okay. There you go. I would not be able to hear this guy. Well, here. Okay, he's still doing check-ins, but the point is... I would have not been able to hear him at all, and the switch works. I was able to successfully check in. Um, you can see me right there. So they uh, they did have some trouble hearing me. Um, so I don't know how much of my signal potentially is getting lost uh, going through all this extra stuff. I may be losing a half a dB, which shouldn't be much. Uh, more than likely, it's just the bands are really, really bad. Um, so I'm not sure until I test this further. Uh, but I can definitely hear them. Um, so this was a good step. I think eventually I will want to get a nicer radio for here at home. Uh, I love my 817, especially out camping and stuff. It does a great job. Um, but I could see, uh, because of the noise issue, um, now that I can actually pick up stuff with this better antenna, I can hear how having a uh, radio that would be uh, better sensitivity uh, and better dynamic range, like the, eight, uh, the 7, 7300 ICOM, uh, would probably do a better job at this. But I had to first be able to get rid of the noise before buying another radio, because you're not going to get rid of transformer noise by changing your radio. So, like anybody will tell you, the first line of defense, the first thing you need to upgrade is your antenna. And so that's always where you want to start is your antenna. Make sure you have your antennas the best that you can get before even worrying about the radio. Um, it's like if you buy a thousand dollar stereo for your car and you put in, you know, five dollar speakers, it doesn't matter. So, um, anyway, uh, definitely a keeper. I still got to do some more placements with the antenna. Um, the only drawback of not using the actual push to talk relay connected to the radio is when you key it um, it's definitely quieter than my receive antenna my transmit antenna is definitely louder so when I'm talking and it's on the transmit as soon as I'm stopped talking it's got a few seconds before it switches back so the, the receive volume is really it's like really loud and all I hear is 